Hello everyone. You must be seeing a lot of things lying down on my table. So, I'll give you information about how much you will have to spend on your first resin product. About the material that is required, the details that you have to keep in mind while buying those material, where to buy those material and more details. Today I'm going to show today I'm going to could So if you are an aspiring resin artist or if you are someone who likes doing creative things and have not tried resin yet this video is just for you or if you have already made some resin products lots of minute details and the things that I'm I'm going to tell you throughout the process so that information will be useful for your next resin project so please watch the video till the end let's start with resin resin comes in two parts one is hardener and one is resin so there is a ratio a proportion given onto the uh, packaging of the bottles that you are buying that in what ratio you have to mix resin and hardener okay so make sure you mix it only in the proportion that is given onto the box now how to mix how to calculate the proportion i'll tell you later mind if you are uh, making resin project on some base like this then you will need a table top resin but if you are making a resin in a mold okay any 3d object that you are trying to make then you will need a casting resin there are two types of resins one type of resin is called as casting resin so the resin that you will need to pour into the mold and then take out the object from a mold you must have seen my earlier video in which i have made coasters so those coasters are made out of casting resin second type of resin is table top epoxy table top resin or coating resin in my earlier video i have made a tray so that was made on this kind of a tray okay so if you already have a surface on which you have to do resin work or resin art at that time you use coating resin or table top resin table top resin can be used on material like this maybe this kind of planks or any shape available in round oval whatever now these kind of uh, resins are used for uh, coating the project that you have already made so if you have made an acrylic painting on canvas or if you have made anything and if you want to coat it permanently with a beautiful shiny uh, glass look at that time the resin that you use is called as table top resin or coating epoxy epoxy or resin anything so that is a different resin that resin generally is not used to make a 3d object so just keep two things in mind you want casting resin if you want to use molds you need coating resin if you are working on some surface pot life pot life means after you have mixed the resin and the hardener how much time you have to work with the resin casting resin has a bigger pot life it means the working time is more with the resin generally 40 45 minutes it has whereas with the coating resin the working time is less it's approximately 10 to 20 minutes so generally the ratio of a casting resin is 3 is to 1 the resin is more hardener is less and in coating resin generally uh, the ratio is 2 is to 1 generally it's not for every product you, know, you should know what product you want to make from the resin first and then you should buy the resin but whenever you buy a resin make sure you read the description and then only buy the product how much money you will have to spend i am talking about online products that are available if you are just starting a project or maybe you need to make a small product like a jewelry or alphabets or uh, maybe a small coaster or something 300 ml bottle is enough for your first trial so for 300 ml you spend approximately 350 rupees so if you want to buy 1200 grams of resin which is this 1200 grams that will cost you approximately 1500 rupees this if you want to buy online if you are going into local market maybe you will find different rates three different quality different brand the prices are different so if you are buying resin for your first project you can also start with just rupees 350 
if it is a beginning you can start with a simple mold like this also if you are into baking or something like that and if, if you have some uh, molds lying around so you can use those molds also these are the molds that i got from baking store these a b c d molds i got from baking uh, from a baking store they use this deep mold to make cakes so i have taken this one to make a clock and these are not very pricey also so you can buy it from 70 rupees maybe if you want a bigger mold it could be 500 800 so you don't have to be very fancy about it and uh, buy some expensive molds and a you know big thing not required not really. you can just buy one mold and start your days in journey If you already have a silicone mold uh, in your house, maybe from earlier resin project or maybe from some baking project, there's a possibility that there is a dust on the silicone mold. Silicone mold holds the dust very dearly, so uh, it is difficult to uh, remove off the dust. You know, you cannot just do this and the dust will go off. No, it will just stick to it. So what you have to do is either you rinse it off, clean this uh, mold using the soap water. Otherwise, the second trick that I'll show you, use a masking tape. So if you're in hurry, you don't have enough time to wait for the silicone mold to dry completely. This is the best trick. Take a masking tape and just remove the dust from all the corners of it. Broader the better. You can also use a normal tape, but what happens, the normal transparent tape has more stickiness into it. So I don't want that stickiness to stay into the silicone mold. So that is why I use masking tape, which is easily available into the market. Next thing is preparing the table. Now let's not underestimate this point. This is a very, very important thing that you have to do before you start making your project. Okay, so now that you have got the reason, you're done, right? No, you're not done. You've just started. First thing, just cover the table so that the table is not spoiled here. I have used a plastic sheet. It was uh, lying around in my house. So I've just used this one. You can use either a plastic sheet or maybe a butter paper. So this sheet is available in the market in maybe just five rupees. I am not using this because it will make a lot of noise and it will disturb the video so that is why i'm not using the butter paper thing but butter paper thing is easily available in the market is very cheap five rupees also plastic sheets if they are lying down in your house you can use them now that is zero rupees Let's see how much noise it makes sorry for the disturbance another thing very important thing that you have to check while setting the table is checking the level of the table so to check the level of the table, you can use a leveler. You will, you will find this leveler at any hardware store near you. So this leveler I have bought for uh, maybe 100 rupees. And uh, this one is a long leveler. This I bought for 180 rupees. This is an optional thing. If you are making a small product, you don't really need a leveler to check it. But if you are making a bigger project where there are chances that if the color slides or if the raisin slides one way your project might damage it generally does so for that leveler is important butter paper if you're using a butter paper and if you're using a leveler the minimum amount that you will spend is approximately 100 rupees 